This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Visit BetterHelp.com slash JeffFM because, honestly, being a human being can be exhausting. Do I need to put these on? Hit her with something, Kyle. Nice. So you could take them off, but you'd be missing out on all that. Okay, cool. How do you start these? We do a little I've intro got, I've, song. I've never. Do you want to move that? No, it's fine. I've never been on someone else's podcast. Are you still doing your podcast? I'm still doing it, yeah. I was saying to Oscar, I was like, because I am not like going to do like pot, like be like a full podcaster and do like once a week, the whole thing. Um, I'm less like stressed about it. Like I just want a bank of episodes with my friends. It's more of like a like creative thing. Yeah. That's kind of what I like. I yeah. like that it's just like kind of an add on to something else. Mm -hmm. See, I'm just in it for the money. So that's yeah. why I come in here to check the nice. boxes every week. <laughs> nice. And wow, I'm, doing so, quick. <laughs> I'm doing so many podcasts. I'm mm -hmm. just going on podcasts, talking about other podcasts yeah. that I did. That's where I'm at in my life now. But I'm happy. You know, this is my dream. Yeah. And I need to wake up sometimes and just be like, what am I grateful for? You know? Yeah. This was your dream, like to do kind of like hosting. No. Stuff like, oh. no. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were being dead ass. No, actually, I don't know how the fuck that's I got not, into this. This is like an awesome job. That's why I was like, oh, totally. That's that's sick. You yeah. get to be yourself every day. Yeah. Yeah. If you're happy with yourself, that's good. Mm, are you not? So, well, sometimes, if I, mm -hmm. to be honest. Yeah. You know, I don't always feel great every day. Yeah, it's normal. I'd be lying if I said I was. I think that's part of the human experience is not feeling great every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you smirking at me? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. I'm just excited. Let me give an intro for Charlotte here. She's a model. She's a podcaster, a TikToker. I'm a TikToker? Yeah, you got funny TikToks. Thank you. I went through your page the other day mm -hmm. and I looked at them. You're funny. Thank you. Especially for like a model. Mm. <laughs> like who like, <laughs> like what what fucking girls are good looking and funny you know thank you it's rare Very nice. they're out there but it, it's rare she's also canadian so she doesn't celebrate thanksgiving so she's able to come in today or fourth so of july yeah i am celebrating this year though pull the mic a little closer to you closer to me yeah like this, this should one? we just switch oh, you want to take mine i see i see i see you okay, want to take cool. mine cool um you could be the host no that would it's too much pressure we did that mean? last time in here Mm, with who? You. Oh, when I yeah, I know you we were did. the first podcast episode to be recorded in the studio. I know studio. you were wait, really? Yeah. I was okay, interesting. You well, were my first ever person I ever did a podcast with. Yeah. So look at that. Yeah, it was That's fun. Great. But it never came out. I never I well, you guys have it. You guys never gave it to me. You didn't oh. give her the, the fucking no, episode off. No, You never gave it to me. <laughs> Why not? There's good uh, stuff in there. Or did I talk a lot of shit about everybody? I was in a dark spot at that time when we did that. I was in a very dark spot. I'm kinda happy it didn't come out. I love that I can see Oscar in there. That's sick. Yeah, I keep him in another room so I don't feel like a psychopath talking to myself. <laughs> totally. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll do them by myself or I'll have Mike in here. Do you, uh, this is a quick question. Oscar, do you edit the camera angles as you go? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. We're trying to really minimize our workload here. No, you're just being smart. That's great. Yeah. So we did a podcast episode. It was our first one. It was kind of like a practice run for both yeah. of us. I was in a dark spot. It was my first time talking for a long time mm -hmm. on video. Yeah. I was talking back then, just not, I wasn't filming it. You did a great job, though, as mm -hmm. a host. Thank you. Thank you. I hope so. Yeah, let's go through that episode. Maybe we'll just post that one instead today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so curious. I'm, it was over a year ago that we did that. that yeah, like the walls summer. were blue. Were they blue? I thought it was like uh, wood in here. Yeah, it was like our editing bay at the time. And I, I didn't know if I wanted to do a podcast, but these guys kind of forced me into it. They're my yeah. handlers. You know, they just tell me when I got to get on camera and talk about my problems. Are they? For money. Are, do, you, do you answer to anybody or no? Yeah, I have a manager, but I don't answer to him. Sometimes I tell him, go fuck himself. Okay. You doing anything for Thanksgiving or I'm you don't? To, I'm going to Vail. I normally don't. This is the first year I've ever done something in like five years um, because I, I'm Canadian. Also, my my parents don't live in America. So like they, like why, where would I go? You yeah. know, but I'm going to Vail um, to see my grandma. What's so, Vail? Colorado. It's like a bunch of mountains. Oh. It's like a great skiing destination. It's awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, I've only heard of Aspen, Colorado. I don't know there's yeah. a video. Is that like Aspen, but like... Pretty much. It's like... Not yeah. as popular? I thought it was super popular. Maybe I'm just biased because I grew up going there. Well, shout out to Vail. Yeah, Vail's and great. And shout out to Charlotte for putting Vail on the map. Yep. What's going on? Are you dating anybody? <laughs> um, oh, um, like, I'm so so bad with guys like i literally just i have i have a problem where i'm not like i just don't really want to date anybody yeah i just don't really care like i mm. think one day i'll figure it out i just like don't have like a burning desire to date anyone so i'm fine with like seeing people um you just don't them. give a fuck i just don't think point. i like care enough right now aren't you kind of similar though with girls like you don't really have yeah, any yeah, interest? yeah yeah it's yeah. the same thing 
I don't know what it is. I think because I was in a relationship for a mm-hmm. while and now I'm just having fun doing me, you know? Do you like get get around? Like, do you hook up with people or are you kind of just like don't even have an interest in that? I have. So I'll let your boy for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I have. I've kissed girls before ah, nice. since the um, relationship. Yeah. Damn. See, when you put the, you put it back on me, you're a good host. <laughs> Thank you. So when's like the last time you like slept with someone? Like, do you even sleep with people? Yeah. You do? I, well, I'll try not to sleep there. I'll, ah. I'll, I'll try to pack up and leave, get mm-hmm. to a meeting. I have meetings every morning right. at 7 a.m. Were you burned in your last relationship? What do you mean? Like, like were, I were got you... an STD? Uh, no, like <laughs> were you like fucked over in any way? Oh, um, no, not really. We kind of just fell out of love. Okay, oh, that's, that's super chill. We came to an understanding, yeah. but it was after years. All right, no, we don't, that's not a whole, I'm not getting into a whole thing here. People don't want to hear this shit. It's the only thing you didn't talk about in the documentary. Oh, my relationship. All right, well, fuck it. No, we were cool. Mm-hmm. We had a great relationship. I thought she was the one at times for the first couple of years. But then after that, I was like, I wasn't happy with myself. Yeah. The person I became. Well, you think that was her fault or your fault? My fault. Okay. Why? She just had a a lot to do with her career. And I just felt the need to like assist. And like she was the most important one in the relationship. Do you think like you swung the pendulum then the opposite way where you're like, it's all going to be about me now? Yeah. You know, is that what you did? Yeah. This episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. Last time I said SeatGeek, I said it so quick that I was saying SeatGeek. It sounded like I said SeatGeek, but I'm going to pronounce it properly this time. Live events are back, and that means you're getting $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code JEFF. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far the easiest way to buy tickets. Look at that. See, it's it's confused if I'm in Las Vegas or Los Angeles because I'm out in Las Vegas so much at the fight sitting ringside. But you guys can get $20 off tickets with promo code Jeff. So we all get to eat a little bit off SeatGeek here, you know? Whether it's concerts, baseball, basketball, football, festivals... Or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying super simple. I'm going to be using SeatGeek to go to that Jake Paul, Tommy Fury fight. I will be sitting ringside and hopefully I get some blood on my shirt. And the Bad Bunny concert. We're not going to Bad Bunny concerts. Sorry, Oscar. Travis Scott concert. No, no, no. Mm. SeatGeek had nothing to do with that. SeatGeek rates every ticket from 0 to 10 to make sure you're getting a good deal. Green means good. Red means bad. Don't worry, I've got the hookup. Use code Jeff for twenty dollars off tickets at SeatGeek. That's twenty dollars off your first purchase with promo code Jeff. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Oscar, just keep in mind Mike's gonna be here in five. I don't, I don't even want him here anymore. What's Mike's role? Like, what's he's his? a lawyer. He's like my co-host, punching <laughs> bag. Yeah, lawyer. He'll advise me if I'm okay. going down like a dark path. Like I'm really. He sits there. Yeah, he'll sit over there. Okay. I'll keep him away from you. Yeah, okay. he's a bit of a creep. <laughs> 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 have I met Mike? Have I met him before? Yeah, yeah. probably. Probably. Okay. He doesn't have a familiar face, like a like a like a memorable face. You know, he's easy to forget. Yeah, he blends in. Do you Jesus. find like this like character bit like translates into your real life? Like, yeah, a hard time shutting this. It's off. easy to yeah spill yeah. over into my real life. I've Meaning. always been a ball breaking, okay. kind of sarcastic asshole, yeah. but I mean well. I have a good heart at yeah. the end of the day. But yeah, I worked in a barber shop my whole life, so we all broke each other's balls. That's how yeah. you know you're good friends. Yeah, you can do that. I agree. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So that's why I keep Mike here to remind me that I am that person. Yeah, amen. I'm a bully, yeah. but are you saying like heart. Mike humbles you? <laughs> Mike does the opposite. What's the opposite of humble? Um, you go. Yeah. yeah. My, do you prepare questions for podcasts? I had about fifteen minutes to do it. I know. For you. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Are you dating anybody right now? That's what I had ah, prepared. First one. Yeah. Your type and a man. What do you like? <laughs> do they got to be rich? No, I don't. Good I, eyesight. Um. Good eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like like um. I'm so specific. My fucking brain's fried. <laughs> <laughs> Good brain. Bye. Good working brain. Okay. Hey, oh, Mike. Mike. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. No fucking way. Yeah. All right, Mike. Mike. All right. Oh my God. I didn't know we were doing this podcast. Thanks together. for coming and, and doing this. Is that a is that a Friendsgiving outfit you're wearing? <laughs> yeah. Are you you could sit over there. Just leave the nice girl alone. <laughs> I need to make sure you're being nice to her. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what we asked. We actually just talked about this, and that's exactly what I said. What? You're here to keep me in line, make Is sure he I don't like get good canceled. Cop, bad cop kind of thing. I mean, we're not cops, but yeah, I'm looking at right <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, I was interviewing her, Mike. I asked her if she's dating anybody and what she's doing for Thanksgiving, just to fill you in, okay. get you up to speed here. Yeah. She's not into guys that trade NFTs. 
Mike is a musician. He just performed in Mexico. Are you a musician? At a wedding. I did not, not know Not a this. wedding, at He's a festival. At, at of, a festival? Wait, yeah. what kind of music do you He's do a famous drum? drummer. He's like right under Travis Barker or something. I thought you played the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I play guitar and drums, but my roommate is a musician, Adam Melcher, and he uh, just played his first festival. It's actually called Corona Capital because it's like sponsored by Corona Beer. Nice. Um, it was in Mexico City and it was our first time his and mine both playing a, like a festival mm-hmm. so it's pretty sick had like the artist wrist band went backstage oh yeah i was trying to i was trying to see if i could bump into jack antonoff and like take a doppelganger do you know who that is no who's i don't that? know either jack antonoff who's that he's like the producer for taylor swift and like uh lord and all these people okay. and music festival though that's big man yeah it was it was very cool do you have to audition for a music festival like how do you get a spot uh i think like festivals have promoters and bookers and they mm-hmm. pick the artists that they want based on the type of festival they want to have and like the hype that the artist has so yeah it was super cool i just landed back in la yesterday my first time in mexico city did but you like it it was so sick yeah i found a kosher restaurant which was really cool do you, wait, um, do you need like previous live experience to do a festival like do they need to see any of that kind of stuff or no? yeah so he's he's doing like a headline tour right now all over the u.s he played the el rey in la he played he sold out uh, what about you though who, who trusted you to go on stage at a music <laughs> festival i think that's what uh, we're yeah getting i'm curious like how you get a spot at a music festival like me personally or, or the guy you i played personally, with well yeah. he's my roommate okay. so so he trusts so you, you so he vouched you, are for you guys you. like a group together are you guys uh, like, are you in a band is he, it like a it's, duo? it's his project he has a band that he tours with but his who drummer, let you on stage he did he has a drummer that he normally plays with so he decided that you're qualified shows. enough to get on stage yes and adam he did already had credentials previously to do this yes okay. he, he's like on the thing like okay. on the on the festival poster adam melcher and yes yeah, speaking of music festivals we met at a music festival Is right that where we met at i think we met there yeah oh damn i didn't know we met there but like i know i saw you at coachella yeah yeah i feel like that's when we finally talked i had you on my shoulders at the tame yeah. impala uh mm-hmm. set they played they, the festival i just played yeah right oh, yeah, i swear wait. they did no fucking yes. way yes and 21 pilots played the same day too yeah. Yeah, it was a le- dude, it's a legit music festival. Damn. They just played Hollywood Bowl like two weeks ago. Oh yeah. yeah Tame Impala? No, yeah, November third. Knows the exact date. <laughs> Were you there, Oscar? Did no. You go? But I, I want to go, but I couldn't. Damn. You should have told me to take you. I would have put you on my shoulders, Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> we share a taste of music. Do we? You and me. What yeah. Do, how do you know? Because your TikToks. Because my TikToks. Yeah, uh, and your Instagram stories. Ah, interesting. <laughs> you listen to the, a what, lot of the same what stuff. What do you like to listen to? Um, like classic rock. Yeah. But you were listening to the Taylor Swift album. Bro, I right? don't listen to no Taylor Swift. He was he was freaking it. out when Taylor's version came out. He uh, was like, Mike, did you did you hear the ten minute version of mm-hmm. All Too Well? I, I, it's okay. Do you? What's or, do the you big know? deal with Taylor Swift? Do you like Taylor Swift? I like wasn't a Taylor Swift fan growing up. Like I knew who she was, and like I liked some of her music. But I didn't like, I don't know. I liked like, uh, uh, I don't know. I wasn't a huge Taylor Swift fan. I don't really get this whole thing. I was thing. Team Kanye. I, was. I like what he did at the VMAs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think everyone to some degree, some part of them liked it. It was fucking entertaining. And yeah. Hilarious and so over the top. Yeah, what great. a nut. Yeah. And then he put out that song that pissed her off again, like they squashed their beef. And then he. Oh, I made that the, bitch famous. That yeah, one. yeah. He, yeah. he sent her the clip. He's like, I'm going to put this part in the song. I talk yeah. about your name. And he's like. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Yeah. And that's all he sent her. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, that's cool. And then the song came out. And he goes, I made that bitch famous. Yeah. No, no, he told her. I'm pretty sure that I made that bitch famous part, didn't he? Not? No, no. He added he that. It? He added oh, that in okay. after he got the okay about the first part. Yeah. It's kind of what I do with my videos. Yeah. He's been making amends with like all the people he had beef with. Who? Who else did he have beef with? Uh, he just became Boy Soldier Boy. Drake. Drake. Really? Yeah. I think they're fighting over who has a bigger about... a bigger pool. You don't follow up on this stuff. I'm honestly, I'm so like bad with following up with pop pop, pop culture. Um, I like don't really pay attention that much. I feel like I should. I feel like I don't really pay attention to much stuff other than like what's going on in my like life. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, I've been dealing with this too lately. I feel so out of touch. Mm-hmm. I have what? to ask Kyle what's cool and stuff like that, yeah. and then he tells me Travis Scott, and then I go look into him, and I'm like, "Whoa, bro, this is what you're into." This I guy? find out stuff from TikTok, I guess. Actually, <laughs> TikTok's a pretty good like news generator for what's like actually occurring. I know, I know, fucking TikTok. Everybody yeah. tells me be on TikTok more. My fingers hurt from yeah. holding my phone up. I do this at night, mm-hmm. and I feel like I'm getting corporal tunnel syndrome from yeah. holding from this finger. It's gonna fall off. I had to Sick make of rules it. with TikTok because it was so addicting. Like seven o'clock is like my cutoff unless I'm making a TikTok, which I never do. Yeah. But that's like my rule to encourage me. Damn, I, I do that. You know how they have limits of screen mm-hmm. time for yeah. each app? I set them too. Yeah. We got so much in common. Wow. You should be my co-host. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I have a woman around here. It'd be sure. nice. Yeah, we can have three co-hosts. <laughs>
just think it's so much easier to watch, you know, with Charlotte here than that face over there. <laughs> Let's just do audio for Mike today. Could have just called in then. Um, and I didn't even get dressed audio. and come all the way over here. Thank you for coming, Mike. I appreciate it. Are we going to David's house for Friendsgiving? Yes. I wasn't invited. Should I just show up? I thought you were in the group chat. Oh, it's in the group chat, the invite? I think I, so. I muted that. <laughs> yeah. You don't look at your phone for four seconds and there's 81 new messages. Yeah. And like people are sending videos and like gifts and memes and it's, I, I see why you like, this mic is a little, hold on. Is this better? Just um, hold on to it, bro. You're a fucking professional well, doing, doing con festivals and stuff. <laughs> you can't figure out your damn wire for your mic. Yeah. See, normally, this is what they need. They need us testing people out to go on stage at the festival. Well, normally I'm on that couch where everything is set up nicely, but for some reason I'm relegated to the Steve, Steve couch showed, over showed here for the late. first time. Showed up late. You this called way? me 20 minutes ago and said, hey, can you come by? I'm desperate. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, need, no. I need you here. I'm nervous. It's a pretty girl coming on the show. I don't know what to do. No, I'm fine. I couldn't handle this by myself. <laughs> he, he told me he was nervous. So, what type of guys are you into? What type of guys are you into? What's your type? Again? Um, <laughs> did we did we ask this already? See, this is why I need you, Mike. All right, let's hear it. I don't think I ever answered it. My, I like um, I like really sweet guys. Like really sweet. Like I've never liked like player kind of guys. I like like guys that like don't really think too much of themselves. Like they're just really like down to earth and like cool. I think those are like the coolest guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, same. same. So, like, guys who like go on hikes shirtless on Instagram. I'm not into that. Like that. Uh, I never hike. I never. I've never been on a hike in my life. It's lame. I'm pretty specific. I feel like I'm. I don't know. I went on a hike today. Nice. Where? <laughs> to Runyon. <laughs> to Runyon. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was nice. I went with a UFC fighter. Cool. He lost his last three fights. Which UFC fighter? I shouldn't say his name after that. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that's a terrible introduction. I just <laughs> cut that. Gene. He was undefeated for his whole life since he was a kid, and yeah. then he went on a three-fight losing streak. Just now. Just now, yeah. So and what does they, that mean? And he for lost the race in the hike today too. To me, twenty-four. Okay. He's your age. Damn. Yeah, is he twenty-four? Imagine that you had to get in a cage with another person and fight. Yeah. It's a wild right. profession. Yeah, it is a wild profession. And I'm over here complaining about podcasting. Yeah, this is this is debatably one of the greatest professions you can have. I Having know. interesting conversations with people for money. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? That's insane. Yeah, it's great. But yeah. Jeff still finds a way to complain about it, though. He's yeah. <laughs> well, you're like the mind's like wired to become dissatisfied over time. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you know. Yeah. Like you'll find a reason to. How do you stay motivated? Motivated? Um. Because you've already done it all. You know, you did a movie, mm -hmm. <laughs> a million followers on Instagram, right? At least. Like you're saying that's like success? You made it. Um, <laughs> you made it in Hollywood. What more do you want from this world? Um, you're what every kid wants to grow up to be. No, yeah, I, I'm definitely super lucky. I got super lucky somehow. Um, but that's how I felt like up until like the last like year. And like motivation, I guess I have to like, like constantly check in. Some people are like naturally motivated every day. Some people, if you're not, like I'm not, like I have to like remind myself every day to because, like I'll write down what I have to do to motivate. Like I, if I don't write it down, then I'll forget and I'll fall into a loop of like doing nothing that day. Like in the morning? Yeah, the first thing stuff. I do in the morning, yeah. Yeah? Remind myself of like what I actually want to accomplish. That's I what my brain doctor tells me to do. Really? Yeah, write down things you're grateful for, mm -hmm. people in your life that you're grateful for. Yeah. I put Mike on that list, number one. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, Jeff. Are you dating anyone? I don't know if we got that. <laughs> whoa, 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 bro. Whoa. I'm just trying I'm to not. speed up what you're trying to get to. You're, you're not dating anyone? Jeff, are you yeah. dating anyone? Um, No, I'm not dating anyone. What kind right of girls now. do you like? Tattoos, shaved head. Interesting. UFC fighter girls. You want somebody that can kick your ass? No, <laughs> just somebody that can kick other girls in their weight class's ass. <laughs> you know, I'm not looking to fight them, Mike. What you want a champion. Like? Yeah, I want a champion. No, I don't know. I like all types. I appreciate everything. Yeah. I don't think I have a type. One time I dated a girl with a shaved head. I was kidding about the shaved head and tattoos, yeah. but I did actually date a girl with a shaved head. I shaved her head. She had hair like yours. Mm -hmm. And then she came into the barber shop and was like, I want you to shave my fucking head. Damn. And she had, she pulled out a bottle of Hennessy and slammed it down. Uh -huh. And then I did it. And I was like, this girl's nuts. Yeah. I was did you intrigued. date after that? Yeah. Oh, damn. Does her yeah. name yeah. rhyme with um, Lamber Nose? No, she was friends with <laughs> She was friends with her, though. She oh, was okay. friends with that girl. Yeah. We had a good run, but, you know, yeah, she grew she her hair out, and I yeah. get arrested. When I was in jail, she cheated on me. Nice. But this isn't about me, this show. You know, it's about the guests. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. It's that time of the year, guys. Uh, it's supposed to be fun, but it can actually be extremely depressing for some of us. The best way to think about therapy is through a bunch of analogies. 
We get our cars serviced to prevent bigger issues down the road. We work out when we visit the doctor to prevent injuries and diseases in our bodies. We see the dentist for our teeth to prevent cavities and other issues. Going to therapy is like all of the above. It's routine maintenance for your mental health and emotional wellness to prevent bigger issues down the road. Going to therapy doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It means you're investing in yourself to keep your mind healthy. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Why invest in anything else and not your mind? This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Jeff FM viewers get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash jefffm. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Jeff FM. Do you have a mullet? What is that? Yeah, I have a mullet. Okay. It's tough to see with the headphones, but yeah. It's, That's a good question, Jeff. What is that? What's going on with your hair? When are you going to come back to normal? You want, you've been asking for me to cut that. this for a while. But like he's, I just, he has such a good like shaped head for a normal haircut to like look like the male model he used to mm-hmm. be. <laughs> and the mullet's the only thing the mullet's the only thing keeping you from being like back to your old self i like that this i don't want to like, go back to my old self it's like you're the bad guy version of yourself you look like the bad twin right now but that's like, not yeah. terrible i don't think that's that bad but like it's the evil twin you know? i want i want ha- i want happy friendly jeff back like he used to be- i love it when i wake up in the morning i look in the mirror the first thing i do instead of you know, after i write down who i'm yeah. grateful for yeah, yeah i look in the mirror and i say you you look like a fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> Use that to get through your day. Nice, Mike. You should get a mullet. No, I, I might do the mustache for November. I, I, I might do like a full. Didn't we just passed. You're running out of time, bro. I know. I know. I, I, had, well, I had a it's wedding the last week. I had a wedding, so I didn't want to go to the wedding with a mustache. But now I, I'll just run it through the end of the year, and maybe that'll be something. What fun. do they do? Sober November or sober October? So, no, not November. Yeah, yeah, there's always something. Is it, do people still do that, or they yeah. gave up on yeah. it? I don't. TikTok for ruined. real. Like even if you have a girlfriend, people do that. Oh, that no, doesn't make I sense. think it's just like a thing people say on the internet. Okay. I don't, I'm a girl. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything kind about of it. Kind like either. culture. <laughs> I don't, I don't participate in that stuff. Yeah. Those things. Why would you? Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a good guy. I'm a sweet guy. Totally. Steven tried doing right. no nicotine November, but and he gave up. that last 12 minutes? Three, yeah, 12 minutes. <laughs> what is this? Is yeah. this an edit? Somebody <laughs> made <laughs> from the hike earlier? Why oh, I yeah. saw <laughs> Oh, damn. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's good. They're creative, man. That's, that's really good. Amara, uh, that's a funny one. But oh. we do have a uh, look at this guy. got a LaCroix. It's kind of the theme over here. We're nice. building a, a oh, diehard audience. Oh, these are candles. He put all, he made a you, microphone out mine? of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those candles are confusing, though, because I always think it's a LaCroix, and I, I go for it all the time. I look, burn you, my made, nose. you made a microphone out of the LaCroix. It's oh, probably that's so nice. you can get the crack. Damn, this guy's innovative. I like it. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Jeff. Uh, Super Amp Jeff has a girl on the show instead of just bringing his really intelligent friends on. That's pretty fun. I even read on your Wikipedia page that you're discovered at Coachella. So I didn't think Jeff could pull that prestige of influence on his show. So a lot of respect. Anyway, it's, you know, just almost December, Christmas time. So what type of festive things do you like to do around the holiday? And a follow-up question. Why do you think it would only take Jeff a jab from his non-dominant hand to knock out Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Great questions, man. I like this guy a lot. I like I like yeah. that he put I like that he put the uh microphone on the candy. You could hear the bubbles of the LaCroix throughout yeah, the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of ambience. It sounded like a for, waterfall. Yeah, it was nice. Wait, did he say he wrote my Wikipedia? Is that no, what he said? No, he read he read it to oh, do research read. on you. Oh, okay, got it. Um, you were discovered at Coachella. Yeah, it was. That's How does that work? I, I just went to it was, I moved to America that year and it was my first time going to Coachella. So I was and then I got like my photos went viral or some stupid shit like that because I was on private on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, like had no interest in doing entertainment um, was going to go to UCLA for psychology. And people um, were just sharing your photos from your private Instagram. Yeah, like and it went viral. different like celebrities posted like photos of like Josie and I at Coachella. And then BuzzFeed did an article on like a 16 year old girl that got Coachella famous. And it, it like gave me a bunch of Instagram followers and stuff like that. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Ooh. What is there like yeah. a million people at Coachella? 200,000? No, not that many. There's like a hundred. I think at the time there was like 150,000 people Damn. at Coachella. I don't know. I, I have no idea. It's Do you miss it? Do you miss Coachella? I miss music festivals. I miss crowds. I love crowds and like mosh pits and yeah. music. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Guys are so quick. Not that one. We don't that's, miss that crowd. That's how Pamela Anderson got her start too. 
Is what? She got... uh, Pamela Anderson, I think, was like, they were at a football game and they were like panning to the crowd. Yeah. And they panned to Pamela Anderson and the crowd went nuts when she was on screen. And then they just kept panning to her like during the, yeah. during the game and she became like, the, this was probably in the 80s, she became the meme of the game. And then a modeling agency like reached out and signed yeah. her and that's what started her career. That's awesome. That makes total sense to me. As, that's like, a cool story. That's a great way to get uh, a start. Yeah, you know? no, totally. It and was, then you yeah. book your first audition. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It is yeah. cool. I am so excited to have Charlotte on the show today. You know, I wow, got a resurgence buddy. of energy for this episode because it's been it's been hell over here. I was going to have Jonah on. Yeah, <laughs> I texted everyone today. I was like, yo, I need a guest. Everybody's busy with Thanksgiving stuff. Yeah. And he's like, I can't, bro. I'm cooking a turkey. I got the bird in the oven. Uh, but he wait. actually said he's going to pop in for okay. a little bit. I nice. did text everyone last yeah. minute. I was like, I need a guest. Yeah. And then when we had you, I canceled everybody. Yeah. But then they're still tagging along. So they'll pop right. in and get to share um, some fun Sounds here good. on the episode but so yeah we he, need king oh god wait this guy he did have a couple questions in oh, there yeah. we got hung up oh, on yeah, the, yeah, on the right, coachella right. discovery one i he did say that i could knock out mike with my less no, dominant hand yeah. my jab i could put him out with a jab <laughs> that's true what else did he say yes what, what i did really for the holidays like what i do festive for the holiday i don't do anything though for festive. do you guys do stuff oh, like yeah. fe- you what do you do for the holidays? Yeah, like what? Like what? I mean, I'm wearing a festive. He's got a different lineup of holidays for is him. Is that crazy that I don't do anything? I kind of maybe it's because my I don't know. Maybe it's because my family doesn't live here. Where are you from originally? I'm from Canada, but my parents like just moved around anyways. What would you do as a kid, like growing up for the holidays? My mom had a Christmas party like every year, so like our oh, house had a tree had a and stuff like that. So more of like festive stuff. But I feel like as you get older, um, you just kind of stop doing that. Yeah, and right. Your, your parents also live in two different countries, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't I, really do anything. That's I had good. I had two different. Uh, so I would go to my mom's side and my dad's side. Mm-hmm. And my dad's side, I was the black sheep. I was like the only one that's ever been arrested. So I would dread it, you know. Yeah. So they all look down on me. Yeah. Like, oh, there's Jeffrey. He just got out of jail or something. <laughs> yeah. And then fucking. <laughs> Now I come home and they ask for selfies and they ask for follow backs on Instagram. I say, yeah, right. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not following anyone back. They want me to follow their friends, their girlfriends. Oh, really? Yeah. I just say no. Clout? I cut it all off. Yeah. not following anybody. But the ones I like, the ones that had my back that didn't look at me like yeah. I was a piece of shit of the family. What's but, your excuse when you say no? I can't do that because then I have to follow every family member and okay. I'm not doing that. I'm not picking favorites. Yeah. You know, nice. and, and and when they ask about their girlfriends, I have a little cousin that was asking me to follow his girlfriend. I was like, bro, you're 16. You're going to break up with that girl and I'm not staying following a 16 Forever. year old girl <laughs> yeah. that you or fucking Or unfollow because you're petty. Yeah. It's and just, then I get called out. Oh, yeah. Jeff Wittick unfollowed me. I don't want to get caught up in that drama. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. This was a good time. Oh, this is him right now. This was yeah. last night. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Oh, this I had flashbacks. I thought that was last Thanksgiving Ugh. when he did this. Okay. He did this last year and he Dude. dropped it. And it, the, the <laughs> turkey it juice went all over my floor. And Nerf was licking it up. It was a mess. I did the Beefy Boys season last year. I did a weight loss show and I bring a bunch of comedic big beefy boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw and that. Yeah. We have a weight loss competition. Whoever mm-hmm. wins, whoever loses the most weight wins yeah. the money. And Jonah, yeah. Jonah won. Jonah won? Had a, didn't, didn't some people like bail? They couldn't do it? Um, no, everybody stuck it out. Wait, what am I? Why oh, am wait, I thinking? Yeah, um, uh, Lincoln, he left, but he came back. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah, that's yeah. What I was he left, but yeah. in the first place. <laughs> it cost me uh, another round trip plane ticket. But speaking of plane tickets, I got scammed for $11 million last, uh, oh, last week. Oh, yeah. What the fuck was that? What do you when mean I, $11 million? $11 million. I lost $11 million this week. I went on Twitter, <laughs> and you know, there's like at the top, there's like spaces where people are talking. And it's usually just like tech people or whatever that mm-hmm. I don't really know. I didn't and know it, this stuff either. But I, I got see... sent a link, and I ended up signing into it. And I didn't realize that it, there was 40,000 people live. He was like live on one of the most talked about like spaces like where it's like a clubhouse type of thing yeah on the app so you go into twitter and you open it up and it's jeff wittick and there's like three girls grilling him about some credit card scam or something i was like i was gonna text you like what the fuck kind of <laughs> bullshit are you getting yourself into i was now? so sick of talking about it it was such a bullshit story i have mm-hmm. i have no idea what but this, people what i realize is. people love to see like successful like in- influencers just fucking crash and burn no totally it's part of like it's also people love the demise of celebrities they love yeah, it you know yeah. it's like actually part of our like wiring because they have more than us you know it's yeah like, that's how they define like a rich is people that more so it's than like a you. jealousy motive yeah, yeah. I, I noticed i enjoy it too which well, is yeah we also like underdogs like going we also we like the up, like up and downs of celebrities like we also like when they win and a part of us does yeah some you know? some some yeah but when i saw the story come out like a bunch of influencers got robbed for a 
eleven million dollars. I was like, oh hell yeah! Wait, Fuck so those I, influencers. I didn't know that. So that eleven million dollars got robbed from wh- who? Which influencers? So yeah. they said they. I think the internet just made up this narrative mm-hmm. from like a bunch of like random stories from yeah, years the and years. Made up. The numbers made up because she showed like a Photoshop bank statement. I think this this could be wrong. I think there's only like a few thousand dollars stolen. But that's not entertaining. You know, yeah. people want to make some bling ring story out totally. of it. Mm. All these influencers that, that like Jack Harlow and at me and like a bunch of other people were like ripped off for all this money. And she just said that she she was using like my name saying she worked for me to get into parties. And then she tried to borrow money off like using other people's names saying that these people pay back. And she made it pretty far. Yeah. Kind of, I guess. She was like doing it for over a year. So what mm-hmm. did she did, what did she get out of this? She, um, she I don't think she planned on it being a public scandal. Yeah. She didn't want that. And I don't, I don't even think it is worthy of that. Like people are making it into such a big deal because it sounds like a, a like a great story. Mm-hmm. She would just but like just not use this to get like an advantage into parties or concerts. Like, um, I don't know what you call like it. Like social cloud, engineering? Cloud chasing? Is that, I don't know. She was just a bit of a pathological liar. But yeah. I think people ran with this narrative that she outsmarted everybody in Hollywood and was able to make all this money. And like eventually she knew that this plan was going to be exposed and she was going to be called out as like some scam artist. But I don't What's think that's name? what she wanted. Sophia? Sophia what? I don't even know. Something with an N. I think NER. So what do you want to share your involvement in this or you don't even want to talk about I it? I kind of did a little bit last week, but everybody fucking talks to me about it all day long. Did she ask for your credit card information or did you get the flight? I offered flight? it. Yeah. I just said, you need to get home. Like, yeah. Go home or go to the police and then go home. Yeah. Go to the hospital. But she's your know, card get more the than fuck once. Out of there. She did? Is that the whole thing? Yeah, but okay. I don't give a fuck. Have you ever been to jail? No. You, do you want to go? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 I have no intention on going. Okay. I've never even been close Do you ever watch those shows about jail? Like cops? Like those shows? No, like the ones in jail. Like- I've seen some of them, yeah. Like um, like I saw Girls Incarcerated. Um, I've seen... Fuck, what, what are the What's names? What's that one, some- 60 Days In? I haven't seen 60 Days In. That's where they take people that are like security guards or mm-hmm. cops or correction officers, and they'll have them go stay in jail as an inmate for 60 days, but you have to do it straight up like... There's no cheats. There's no extra like, okay, you could come sleep in this room. Yeah, you good. have to be an inmate yeah. and you have to go through the whole process. Like when you get in jail, they check your ass yeah. and stuff like that. They make you cough to make sure there's no yeah. contraband up your ass. So they treat you like a straight up piece of shit, like what they do to inmates. Yeah. And these people go through, some people make it all the way through and then they find out all the inside info. They become rats and they yeah. find out, oh, this guy's got a shank and this guy has drugs and this mm-hmm. is how it's getting in. It's kind of a cool show. Yeah, no, that sounds great. I always thought like, I mean, I'm sure I'm not alone in this. Like so many people, I, I think it'd be so interesting to spend like a week in jail just to like, um, like knowing you're going to go out. Like, I think it would just be such an interesting experience. Um, <laughs> do you disagree? I think it'd be like, obviously it would suck. And like the whole screening process to get in, like all of it's bullshit. But like still, like it'd be so yeah. interesting. Like it, just it that experience. It wouldn't be that bad. Every time I got arrested, I didn't have like a release date. Mm-hmm. I always had like, oh, this is a really bad case. You're going to do life or maybe you'll get off on this. And I was like, yeah. oh, fuck. And then when they told me I was out, I was like, damn, I got it. <laughs> You're like, I, I could have enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have I yeah. enjoyed it. I don't know if you've talked about how you got to be a barber in jail. You want to hear it? Yeah. Because this show is about you, but I guess I'll talk about no, myself a little it. bit. <laughs> My first night where I got into the dorm, so they hold you in like the holding cells and stuff for a few days and then you get transported to where you're going to stay for the majority of your time. And when I get in there, my bunkie, this kid Aker, he was the barber of the dorm. I'm telling him I'm a barber too. And I'm like, what are the fucking odds? Like yeah. I'm a real barber. I work in a barber shop. I had like kind of like a celebrity clientele at the time. I was in this magazine, The Source, and I was cutting Wiz Khalifa's hair in one of the pictures. And it's like the only time I was ever in a magazine. This magazine happened to be in that dorm. There's like four magazines circulating the whole jail. Mm-hmm. And this magazine that I was in was in there, which is fucking nuts. Because everybody in jail tells stories like, yeah, I do celebrity haircuts yeah. and on the outside. Like I do all this shit. Nobody believes it. Everybody's yeah. a fucking liar. The next day, he's like, I'll get you clippers and you could cut hair and then you could make money for food and stuff. Like You don't make money, but you make it's basically like cryptocurrency. Yeah. You know? This ramen noodle soup is 30 yeah, cents. Yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you trade stuff but um, burning man burning man is that what they do in burning man yeah it's like all trade there's no currency oh they trade items they trade items like food for like water burning man my whole family has except for me i was gonna go um the year of covid and then i couldn't but now i'm going this year we gotta go this year too yeah Yeah, so bad 
We have to go. We have the song. Just Burning to try Man. it. Yeah, you do have this. <laughs> maybe we'll perform Man. it. If they're letting oh anybody do music festivals yeah. now, then maybe they'll let me perform <laughs> it. With Simon? Yeah. Just kidding, Mike. I'm proud of you. No, it's okay. Uh, I'm scared of Burning Man. That place seems like... I was scared too. I was like, there's no... I don't know why people go. So I get it, but I got pitched it in a different way. Isn't now. it like just a nasty, free-spirited, like get naked <laughs> spot? It can be. That's like one understand. way of looking at it. Is the, And that's how I look at it too. What's the pitch that you got that made you change your mind? It's like the aspect of like freedom. It's supposed to be like a utopian society, like a utopia society, whatever, like where you have... There's like a sex tent, like an orgy tent. Like it's all, it's all really happening. So it's like... Kind of things like, and then there's like a whole art section where it's it's just like the way it just seems so ridiculous. It seems something like I have to see it one time, right? For to, for myself, right? And it didn't seem that scary. I was like, how like if you don't get lost here, like how do you get back? It all kind of got like explained to me that way. Yeah. Um, and it just seems like something I have to try. I've just met some of these people who go to Burning Man, and then it's like their entire personality. Like all they yeah. do is wait till get to the next Burning Man, and then between Burning Mans. They're just having like drug yeah. and sex parties all year long until they can get back to totally. Burning Man. And it's like people do that with drugs. Like people make it um, part of their identity of like, I do drugs. I smoke weed. I do this. You know, people you have to you can. I got do... hit by a crane. Kyle, yeah. No, yeah. I don't yeah. show off that it's, I smoke weed. It's interesting. Though. <laughs> no, like... You're the one that makes me out to be this woke ass stoner. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle showed up like five minutes before the podcast. He came into work late today. He's like, oh, I, was, I smoked too much weed last night. <laughs> you right. can't use that as a as an excuse to your boss <laughs> what, what type of work environment is this i'm like oh damn that's pretty sick bro you're good you're good smoke up bro Hell yeah. good work so yeah. maybe if you guys both i'm not gonna go but maybe if you guys go to burning man you can mike you should why, come with us why are you so no adamant why yeah, we're gonna yeah. take the airstream I, but why though? Well, like, one of us has to go, and then maybe you don't go, so I could come back here and tell you about my experience, and that'll be a whole episode. That will be great. I would love to hear about your experience. <laughs> well, we you should know, do a barber shop. You know, there. you can skydive in there. Yeah, you can. If you skydive in, it's free entry. Oh yeah, yeah. Whoa. Damn, I'll do that. And be fun. A lot of the thing though too is a lot of people who drive up. There's like it's in some weird town where there's not a lot of like population, so mm -hmm. a lot of cops set up traps, and like I think it's like ten or twenty percent of the people that try and go to Burning Man don't make it because they just get caught by the cops trying to bust all these vans with drugs. So you really want to be like careful about what route you take. And like, I've just heard so many stories. I I know you're not bringing drugs. I'm just saying some shit that I've heard about Burning Man that made. Yeah. So is it like its own city town? Yes, or? that's the point. Like that's why. Make it, oh. And then you leave it too, like the whole, like you leave it with not one trace of litter as well. Yes, that's like the whole like beauty really? of Burning Man. Yeah. Wow. Is that they set up an entire town, entire civilization. No one uses any money. So like if you just have water, you just give water and then you get food. And if you That's have food, what I'm saying. It's you like trade, trade food. Yeah. For, or if you want to give haircuts, you can give haircuts and get food and water it's like and prison. Haircuts. It's, it's exactly I'm right back in prison. That's what I'm saying. Why the fuck would you want to subject yourself? And you're in. The, there's well, no like cell phone. Service. I have to go. It's part of our brand, Burning Man. Simon told me when he wrote the song because I was like, it's kind of fucking wacky lyrics. The lyrics are, I just want to yeah. go to Burning Man and suck my own dick over yeah. and over again. So we had to record this with a stranger producer. Yeah. And. <laughs> old russian dude <laughs> i asked simon i'm like wh what was the inspiration for these lyrics like what are you just like wanting to make like a stupid song and he goes no actually at burning man you can be naked and you can suck your own dick yeah, there and, and just be free in the wild and i'm like oh okay it's like one, one of those things you like make up as a kid like i wish there was a world where you could do this whatever you want and like people actually did it and it's burning man and that's why i have to try that like, yeah it's we have probably to go. scary in some respects yeah is there like, like bad shit that happens there have you heard of mike like i don't no, know like, i actually have or... anyone that's gone is like this is the greatest thing ever. Yeah. It should be like, I wish I can go twice a year. Like everyone who goes loves it. So it's so almost like, just like, I just don't have really any interest in going. I think I would support you guys going. to it. Yeah, I'm you not. You know, yeah, yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. You know. But I'm going to skydive into it naked. That's what you, you should. You, <laughs> okay, a quick word from the sponsors. Today's sponsor is Noom. Noom is a digital health platform that helps empower you to take control of your health. Noom focuses on building healthy routines and habits because there's so much more to being healthy than just losing weight and dieting. You can't just drink sparkling water and coffee all day. You need to eat the proper nutrition and Noom has that for you. Here's how it works. You start by taking a quick assessment used to tailor a custom plan for you. Then Noom connects you with a coach who is a real person trained in psychology, fitness, and nutrition to help guide you and cheer you on as you go. And they have food and exercise trackers with lessons and psych tricks which have helped me reach my goals. Oh, this is Noom? 
Yeah. Oh, I use it for the, the Gilberts and stuff. Helps for real? Me, yeah, it helps me like... Actually? Yeah. Has get it, the fuck out of here. I swear to God, bro. It helps me like have a good diet for my liver. What I love about Noom is it helps Kyle get the proper nutrition and diet because he is diagnosed with an illness. Mm. So it's a, it doesn't have the coolest name either. Gilbert, Gilbertsons. 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 I know it's not the, not the coolest name. But, it's lame. But we're combating that virus and illness. It's not a virus. No. It's a disease. <laughs> But I'm fine. I'm happy. Then the show can go on. We can keep on going. Yeah. If you're like me and you want to build healthy habits and take control of your health, you can get a free Noom evaluation, a seven-day trial, when you use my link at noom.com slash Jeff. Once again, when you use my link in the description, you'll get a free Noom evaluation and a seven-day trial. Go to noom.com slash Jeff for a free evaluation and a seven-day trial. I try not yeah. to even take, like, Advil because I don't fucking trust any... I don't like putting anything in my body that's not... Fucking straight edge. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> not, I, I'll, like, drink some... I mean... Jeff got me to yeah, like, bro. Advil's a gateway drug. Yeah, I, dude, <laughs> you'll be that sucking shit, dick for Tylenol PM for no time. Dude, that shit has to go through your fucking liver, and it's like <laughs> I have a headache. Let me take like a fucking heavy drug. <laughs> Just drink a glass of water and get on with your day. I don't take Advil actually. It's like, for real? Yeah, I don't take Advil. Cause What's, I'll just like I don't I'll just like bear with it. I'm yeah, like, just, this is what my body feels. I'll just feel drink it. some water oh, and let yeah, your body heal nice. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just feel it. You're sounds living. Like, sounds like me and Charlotte yeah. have a little more in common than Seriously. you and Charlotte, Jeff. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. You're a yeah. weird fucking guy. Thanks. I don't even have to do this podcast anymore. I don't even have to show up. Have you seen Jeff's hairspray and product? Yeah, yeah she did. She gave me a nice post for yeah. it. Thank you. Have you used it? No, I haven't it's yet. All right. It's all right. I, I don't really use hair products that much, but I'll try it. Okay. Yeah. I'll try it. Let me know. I'm curious. I went, o- I'm curious I went over to Matt's house the other day and I... I the bottle's all empty? No, I smelled like the whiff of the sandalwood and I was like... Smells good. Wow. In here. Oh, that's Jeff's barbershop. Can I smell it? Yeah. Which one? Do they have the same smen- scent? Yeah. We're gonna do deodorant and shampoo and it's like all a types sandalwood sea salt type of spray. Oh, like I'm just spraying on my arm. Whatever. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it does smell nice. Thank you. That's gonna be on the next bottle. Charlotte Alessio, I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> you watch the new Tiger King? No, I haven't. Isn't it? It's not the full second season, right? It was like kind of like a what's happening Zoom call. I, could, I watched like the first episode and I was mm-hmm. like, this is fucking ridiculous. It's They're, getting bad reviews, I think, too. Wait, so what? It's, it's yeah, not what's a full going normal on? second season, They're trying season, to get him a, a pardon from prison mm-hmm. just because he got famous off a reality show and like back when it's so different Who's now they? or Remember he's when, trying to like their cats. well his like fans and stuff like his from, little cult members his from little biden fucking no when trump was the president they would never oh. ask biden for this shit but it's so crazy that when trump was the president like we were on a different planet pretty yeah. much nothing <laughs> it was just even the fact that people thought that's, that we could get a guy honestly, out of jail well just because he got famous on a reality show yeah. on netflix well trump and, got um asap rocky out of jail but ASAP Rocky didn't, or he didn't facilitate a murder. This guy tried to get yeah. a woman killed because she was like fucking with his tigers or something. <laughs> but then after Trump got him out, ASAP Rocky was like, "Nah, fuck you, still." <laughs> yeah, but ASAP Rocky's like a famous rapper that was yeah. just in the wrong place, wrong time. Well, yeah, yeah. Didn't he get arrested in like Sweden? Uh, I think it was in Paris. He Paris. like, uh, yeah, I think it was, I think it was yeah. Sweden. No, this oh, guy Sweden? was in jail on U.S. soil, yeah. and they were like, because he got so famous and has all these fans now. He deserves to get free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, re- I remember when this was happening, when he was like, uh, he's like tweeting from jail, I guess, and he put out a statement saying, I was too innocent and too gay to deserve a pardon from Trump. <laughs> what the heck? They flew a, a private jet that was wrapped in like tiger print. Well, like, said, this like is, Tiger Jet, the Tiger One or something, and or the exotic. I don't even remember the fucking name. Well, didn't Joe Exotic just want the fame? Like everything that's happening. Yeah. Like the whole Netflix show is everything that he ever wanted. Yeah. He yeah, would totally. he would have other people record well, that, songs that. and then he would lip sync. Oh, them. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh he yeah, wanted yeah, to be a famous musician so he bad, but he didn't have talent. Famous. It's like me, kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Want to be a musician so yeah. bad, UFC fighter. Well, he's like, like just they, a... have, they have all this footage for the same reason that we have like so much footage of you. Like he just wanted people to record him and post it on YouTube. <laughs> You're making me sound like a psychopath. <laughs> oh, when I was in line at customs in Mexico, uh, and usually when I have my mask on, I don't get recognized. But I, some kid right behind me in customs goes, oh, my God, dude, Mike. And I was like, hey, I thinking I know him. And he's like, hey, hey, tell Jeff. I said, go fuck yourself. And oh, I was like, nice. I nice. was like, wow, finally, so someone in the comments in real life is... Tell yeah, what people, you people love you, Mike. They were mad when I did a little joke where I was like, I brought Mike on here and I fucking told him he was going to be my co-host. Yeah, I saw that. Hurt. That fucking hurt. Did it hurt? Bro. Well, <laughs> it hurt when everybody was like, fuck you, Jeff. We love Mike. And I was like, damn, my own people have turned on me. I, well, I, I've had quite a journey with the audience here. It used to be really hated. And then like mm-hmm. in the last two or three episodes, 
there is you used to be hated oh yeah the tides have shipped shifted no yeah. mike's cool i used to not like mike and now he's cool <laughs> <laughs> when i was working for jonah jonah hated you text him by the way text like, him tell tell him to come up and tell us how the turkey's going jonah jonah no jonah and fucking, that's why i didn't i was like hey, what's up with mike so then so jeff like brought me on and was like I, I was just it was just me and him and the audience seemed to really like it even though Jeff every episode is like tell Mike how much you fucking hate him go send him a fucking DM yeah. go fuck yourself and like I want them to feel like they're a part of the show <laughs> totally and it's, it's great like I'm, I'm a good lightning mm-hmm. rod I, I can take the heat and then like after that episode Jeff like off camera was like hey Mike just like you know I'm thinking about trying to get something more permanent here would love to like have you be a permanent guest whatever and then on the next episode, he has Todd and Jason. He's like, oh, by the way, I told that fucking loser, Mike Sheffer, I was going to have That's my fucking co-host. I went as far to talk shit about him when he was not in the room. And that's where they draw the line. They're yeah. like, no, you can only make fun of people when they're there on in camera. person. And you do it to their face. Yeah. Which I agree with. No, but I know it's all for content. Yeah. Like behind the scenes, it's all it's all love. Totally. And it's, yeah. it's good. But for, for content's sake, I we love Spice It Up. And so... Yeah, I, I think I'll probably take a lot of the heat on this episode because you're too nice to take any heat from people. Oh, they're going to so. love I'll having a woman on the show. Yeah. And especially a smart one. Is there you know, other... I'm not saying Susie's not. Susie's the only <laughs> other <laughs> woman we've Is had Susie on the, the show. Only other... I'm the second girl. That's second awesome. girl ever. Yeah. On Jeff FM? Yeah. Oh, you wow. Could completely, Jeff FM. You could completely cut Three out. Three F's like... in a row. I wanted it to be <laughs> shitty and hard to say. I like that. You yeah. could completely cut out like even bringing up Susie. <laughs> like... yeah, Why? I wouldn't say that. Just Why? Uh, uh, I mean, people are gonna take it like you said that she's dumb. Like, no, I, 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 I corrected it. No, Susie's not dumb. She's very smart. The whole Antonians, every one of them, are, they're all very smart people. My actions will, will speak words. Yeah, they know the deal. You know, they're in on it. They get it. One time, a pilot came up to me in Vegas, and he was like, "Yo, man, I love the podcast. I listen to it when I'm flying." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Flying what?" He's like, "I fly for Delta." I was like, "You're listening to me tell fucking dick jokes and a joke around with my idiot friends, and you're like flying. You got shown his dick. Three hundred people <laughs> behind you. That's flattering. That's awesome. It made me nervous though. I'm like, now nah, I got the pilot listening. I know, listening right now. I know, crazy. What's up, bro? Keep your eyes on the fucking sky. <laughs> um, I just texted Jonah. I said, "Can you come up?" He said, "Yes." Like in four minutes, I'm like, "Cool." Just walk in. He's like. Turkey's gonna burn. <laughs> He's gonna come in. No yeah, sure. But we been... need t- the turkey talk. You know, Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Well, Thanksgiving was technically yesterday when this came out. But whatever. This is what I wanted to ask you, Jeff. Sorry that this doesn't necessarily no, please, apply please. to you, but uh, when I was in Mexico playing that music festival with Adam Melcher, uh, <laughs> cut him off. Cut, I don't care about the story. Cut it off. It's enough. Uh, I, I was just like flipping through the channels and I was trying to find something to watch at night before I go to bed. And the movie Casino was on. Martin Scorsese, classic movie. I watched the whole thing. And I was like, let me look at if like if Martin Scorsese is on Instagram and he is on Instagram and I see who he's following. It's oh, like, yeah. He he's following Jeff. fucking How do you Jeff? know that? I knew that. I don't know how I knew that. I think I Probably went because I talk about it every episode. Maybe it was you or somebody. I don't it, like it was either me discovering it on my own on Martin Scorsese's Instagram. Or Are you, you a Martin Scorsese up. fan? Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm I not, just found the tell like two What's days your ago. favorite movie of his? That's See, that's what I don't know. I have Wolf no of idea. Wall Street probably, right? I mean, that's like a great one. of his. It's just such an obvious choice. I don't know. It is probably one of the funnest ones that he's he's done. And it's crazy he made that in his 70s, you know? Yeah, that is pretty wild. Such a cool movie. Why See, does he follow you? Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys met? Have you no. interacted with him? No, no, no idea. I mean, tell him about I what uh, uh, I've been did. Have you ever sent oh, him a DM? Fuck. No, I, I, I never sent him a DM, but I had to send out the PR boxes for the product launch. Mm-hmm. And I was just getting sick of it because there's just so many people I have to ask, like, hey, can I send you this thing? And like, yeah. you, you know, people address. think that I'm asking for a promo, but I really genuinely just want people to yeah. have it. And I was just like, fuck it. I can't do this anymore. So I passed the job off to my assistant and he DM'd everybody I follow. Yeah. And my first message ever to Martin Scorsese was, hey, I, I want to send you some product. Give me your address. And he did. And I was like, oh, my God. Where the fuck I didn't see it. No, you he, notice he I, caught it, I caught it like right after he did it and I unsent it. Yeah. Smart. Okay. But now he's going to think like, oh, what am I not good enough for the products? <laughs> what if he's looking at it and he's like, what does this guy think? I'm too old to fucking get hair products. I think you I should message him. If he runs his own account or if someone else handles it for him. He, Just to have a presence, you know. He, I, I don't know. I doubt it. But even it was, probably, doubt a, it. It was probably a fluke. A little no, I don't. Slip who up. knows? Like I actually, I <laughs> thanks, know. Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. But, you're, but Jeff, you're you're big enough, and you have a, like enough of a platform that I think even if it's some... you think he needs me for uh, to play a wise guy in his next movie, maybe a young De Niro. <laughs> if, Let's not get ahead of yourself wait, here. Wait, maybe wait, De Niro if, face. Wait, if he thinks if he thinks that uh, <laughs> Marvel is like an amusement park, I just wonder what he would think of like Barbie. Oh uh, yeah, he doesn't like Marvel movies. <laughs> Interesting. He says they're an amusement park of the film. I agree business. with that. But, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Yeah. It serves its own purpose. It's entertainment. Yeah, exactly. 
This episode is sponsored by DoorDash. What do you want to eat tonight? Maybe you want a home-cooked favorite, but don't like going to the store, or you want something exciting and new, but it would be great to stay in tonight. DoorDash connects you with everything you want, whenever and however you want it. It's time to get back out there, but if you're not quite ready for a full-blown adventure, there's still ways to explore the world from the comfort of your home. With DoorDash, you don't need to travel far to experience something new. Get what you want to eat right now and right to your door with DoorDash. Along with restaurants you love, you can get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. Craving late night ice cream? Forget that key ingredient for dinner? Or maybe you just need to stock up for a week. With DoorDash, get everything in one app. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy, and your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless delivery options. If anything good came out of the pandemic, it's the contactless delivery options, because you don't have to see the guy anymore. It's that awkward exchange. You know, what if you're in your underwear, and you don't want to talk to the guy? What if you're a famous YouTuber, and then sometimes they spot you at your door, and then you have to have an awkward conversation and take a selfie when you're in your underwear. You don't have to do that anymore with DoorDash. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JeffFM. Kyle, it's your first order. That's why your thing's not working anymore when you enter the promo code. That's 25% off up to $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code Jeff FM. Don't forget, that's code Jeff FM for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Do we have any videos, any TikToks that were viral this week that we want to uh, comment on? Uh, what about yeah, that money yeah, falling yeah. out on the highway? Oh, fuck, yeah. What would you do video. if you were there? Dude, would you yeah, pick up the that. money or would you say, I ah, fuck it? I, I don't think I want to see this. Uh, uh, money fell out of a person's uh, car. One of those Maybe. Brinks trucks. Yeah. It, it like, uh, the doors flew open all the money flew all over the highway no way and like for real like this for real yeah, yeah it was in, like it was in, in uh, yeah like san diego, diego freeway. Was it, it looked mr. like some Holy mr shit. beast video or no, <laughs> <a> mr <laughs> beast video is that illegal to take that money mr beast yeah. is canceled right now because because he because the squid game set i, have, I, I saw that yeah that yeah. was a little spending millions of dollars to remake squid game yeah do some do bro get a better idea you know <laughs> so what? she made a tiktok fan sorry you're mr beast fan you're a big mr beast fan mr b Mr. Beast, Beast, the number one YouTuber in the world. I don't know who that is. Good, smart. <laughs> who is yeah. that? Do you watch YouTube? I I watch like I don't watch like YouTubers. I watch like like what uh, the other side of like YouTube has to offer. Like they have like like I'll watch like podcasts sometimes. Who's your favorite? I besides I think, Jeff FM um, and Hoot and a Half. It, I honestly I love like it's so quintessential, but I love Joe Rogan's. He's awesome. He just has so many. I just love his like style of communicating. Would you love to go hunting with him? Would you shoot an animal if you were Joe Rogan? I don't know. If I was Joe Rogan, would I shoot an animal? If, you're with him, with if you were with him, him. if, you, if he invited you on a know. hunting trip, I don't know if I have like the grit for that. Are you vegan? No, I'm not a vegan. I eat it. Are you so are you saying like I'm doing the same thing kind of thing? <laughs> well, I do that when I'm with certain people. I'm like a chameleon. I, I yeah. try to do what they do, just yeah. so they accept me quicker. Nice. You know, whatever. I'm honest. <laughs> yeah. If I was with Joe Rogan, I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck these animals. Let's shoot them. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, here's just, the video. Let's see. <laughs> This guy's in jail now doing life. <laughs> they did. They, I'm gonna look no, it up. No, they found everybody in the video and they locked him up. How fucked up is that? Like, it's money on the street. It's like. This kid's in jail. Death penalty. Not death penalty. <laughs> no, not, right? death, okay, not death penalty. But they're in jail? <laughs> yeah, they went and arrested them all. Because it was a federal crime. They robbed money from the government you're, oh two people got arrested people so far to, like be educated enough to know that you're giving people literally know, like, money on the street and you're saying don't pick it up yeah that's like crazy that's I know. like that's wild i know I would, if i were to make jail it TikTok, for that i yeah. would be like fuck it i'm gonna enjoy my time in jail yeah like you said yeah, earlier exactly yeah fuck it I, I did what anybody would do exactly. pick up the money what anyone would do yeah i didn't rob it i didn't go in a bank with a gun i didn't say i had a, a disease like yeah. I, when the, i got scammed for 11 million dollars last yeah. week the driver also took off this is like a question of like morals and ethics. Like if a car full of money just came undone, would you take it? You know, yeah. most people would. If you find a hundred dollar bill on the street, you're going to pick it up. Yeah. It's probably a prank in Hollywood from some YouTuber and there's dog shit on the Literally, back of it. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're there, yeah. I'm fucking taking all, I'm not making any TikToks, any yeah. videos. I'm swiping it all up. Yeah. Buying an NFT with it. <laughs> Do you own any NFTs? Kidding. I don't own any NFTs. I don't know anything about them. I don't know where to start. I'm not getting into it. What did I text you this morning, Kyle? 
Oh, fucking Tyler the Creator. They make fun of the way I dress and stuff like that. Yeah. Like they know better. And Kyle loves Tyler Go the get Creator the shoes. and like Go Travis get the shoes Scott that you're and stuff. Wearing. And I was wearing Wallabies, the Clarks. Do you know? I don't know what that is. Put, 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 a, a, put a, up a picture. And I was wearing these for like the past six months. I made it like a part of my... Like, like, thing. As if I was a, a cartoon you, you made character. It his swag. Yeah. And I wear the same outfit every day. That's yeah. what I do for the barbershop show. Because okay. like Walter White wore them in Breaking Bad. And okay. I have a trailer now. And we're like driving through the desert. And I just, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to wear these every episode. Mm -hmm. And everybody hates them. And the comments, they, everybody hates them. And these guys make fun of me. And then Tyler, the creator, was wearing it. Uh, and I sent it to Kyle. I said, look, you little woke fucking teenager. <laughs> don't you ever insult the way I dress again. Mm -hmm. Don't ever call me old. And I, I, yeah. think, I think you got pretty good style, Jeff, for. Thank you. Well, like, okay, what, Jeff? The I saw you with these. Of effort you put in. Are these the exact ones? Like you have this. Uh, I got a couple pairs, like but those are, that's on one them? of them. They got the my least oh, favorite ones that I have. But wait, with the like cork on the bottom? Yeah, it's kind of that cork. No, it's, no, it's it's, it's literally like a house shoe. Cool. I mean, they're definitely not what like these are very interesting. It's not what you expected, shoe. huh? No, <laughs> go get like them. A huge go platform get on them. <laughs> Interesting. Jeff, well, Jeff, no, it's not that. It's not that bad. Jeff's it's not, not like. It's, <laughs> not, it's not like I'm trying to get taller. Yeah. No, no, I don't think you are. No, They're the funny. whole thing's like cushiony I and like spongy. Yeah, I think it's like, like a yeah. I'm it's like it. the same shit with Here, my haircut. Speak. You know, like yeah. I, I don't want to have a haircut. It's just like an just... offbeat like thing. That I'm just you having have fun. You. You know? Yeah, you're having. I I appreciate that. I enjoy the comments of people saying you look dumb. You know. Yeah. Look at those green ones. He got the green tea color. Look, he even has a green tea there. It looks like a matcha. He looks like he's outside Alfred. A matcha. Is that a matcha? Yeah. He's got there. Do you drink it. matcha? Yeah, sometimes. It tastes good. Huh. Oh, yeah. You'll think so? No, yeah, I drink matcha all the time. I love matcha. See, there yeah, we go. I'm trying to blend is, in. Uh, this is the DM I, I I've too. never had a matcha in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you screenshotted my fucking shit? Don't expose me like this, bro. This is a private message. I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> you can never call me old again, you little fucking woke teenager. Wow. <laughs> Take your vitamins, you old fuck. Yeah. My brain pills. You're right. I need them. I saw a TikTok of this girl doing a rope swing off a boat. Mm -hmm. Did you see that one? It was going viral. No. Mm -mm. And I saw it. I got a flashback. Of of like I saw it and I was like oh fuck get off that that's dangerous and, and I went I went I read the comments and everything was like oh she's doing the Jeff Wittick she's yeah. doing the Jeff Wittick oh my god you're a challenge now I'm a challenge that's TikTok awesome. challenge that's actually sick. the Jeff Wittick it's challenge it's terrible do not do it I should have been killed yo start the hashtag Jeff Wittick challenge oh my god now don't start Absolutely that bro that's not. terrible no. that's like telling kids to eat Tide Pods <laughs> no you told remember kids that to eat Tide Pods. but that was when it was a trend it's like coined behavior bro you're a trendsetter you like said it yourself. That's not a good behavior. It's not a good one. No. For sure. Where the fuck is Jonah with this damn turkey? Is he for real cooking a turkey? Yes. Like he's not kidding. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, We're, in the he takes group chat, there's like a whole list of who's bringing what. Is it tonight? Yes. The, yeah. Okay, got you. Um, And so Jonah last night at like 2 a.m. was like in the group chat. He was like, guys, I thought I bought a turkey, but I actually bought an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just sent like photos of himself and he sent these videos. It's just like. He that cuts kid is, with his shirt off. Yeah, it's he gets all into it. Like that that video it's that nice. we played with the turkey. That is what he's bringing to dinner tomorrow. <laughs> That's exactly how he cooked the turkey last year too. Like I, I I was excited to like have a little Thanksgiving meal because I'm not going back home and it would be nice to like see all the Thanksgiving meals. But now that fucking Jonah's making it shirtless. I don't know how appetizing it's going to be, but <laughs> yeah, it changes things. Have you interacted with Jonah before? Yeah, I met Jonah last time I was here. I've met oh, he came in here and interrupted. Oh, you only met him once in your life? I think I've met him more than that. I, he was also at David's birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the worst part about him? About Jonah? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know him well enough to give like an honest review. You got to know Jonah for a long um, time. To talk, see some shit, talk some shit. I, maybe that he doesn't <laughs> seem that present. He seems like he's always somewhere else. That's like the one <laughs> thing I can literally think of from our small interaction that like I had to say. Yeah, his that, brain... that could be completely <clears throat> circumstantial. You know what I mean? I don't his know. brain is just a TikTok for you page. <laughs> <laughs> just swiping through things all the time, just like a food menu. And he's got a lot of steaks on his for you page. Mm -hmm. Steaks, like actual steaks. Yeah, because yeah. like you know how like, oh, he's on, like, it'll cater talk. to what you yeah, watch, totally. like, all the data and stuff. So all he always watches like meats getting cooked and stuff like that. So his whole for you page is just different types of meats. That sounds great. But he's passionate about it. Totally, he has yeah. to be. Yeah, sounds like he is. What is your for you page? What's it looking like? I, um, there's a lot of like um, funny videos. Yeah, there's like comedy videos. There's like so many like just like like I hate it to say it, just like hot girls. Like I just like I feel like everyone likes watching that, or at least a, a lot of people I know. Like I have just so many pretty girls on my for you page. 
Um, they're very captivating. I like honestly like watching it. Does that like fuck with you where you're just like that social media thing of like, oh, look at all these girls who are. I think it did when I was younger, but now it's like I'm more it's like an appreciation for like right. people that that exist like that, like for real. Like I'm like happy they exist um, like in any like capacity. Um, Inspiring. And, yeah, it's just like I'm ha- like like beautiful, like like beauty in general, like whether it's like a city or a person or whatever. I'm like happy it exists. You know, it makes the whole world more like nice to like look at. It sounds shallow, but it's like I kind of like beauty. I kind of saw beauty as more of a shallow thing until I realized it's a little deeper than that. Mm-hmm. And now I'm happy like it exists. Truly. You ever look at your for you page and be like, I'm gonna go get plastic surgery tomorrow. I'm gonna get my um, face altered. Not for my for you page, no. Instagram? Like I think like when I was young, like I was like that. Not really now. Like I you when you're young, you just have such a lack of like self acceptance, you know? And then I just like got older and I was like, Well, I'm just gonna accept who I am, you know? Or like find out who that is and then accept it. Like when you're young, you just like don't know what's going on. Um Yeah, you're right. You think you're gonna be that same person forever. Yeah. Well, Charlotte, you're great. I don't care if Thank Jonah you. was if he even comes or not right. anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just called him. He would have fucking ruined whatever yeah. we had here anyway. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck him. This was a great episode. I'm happy. I'm excited to see it. What are you working on? What's like? She's a podcast host. What's your podcast called? It's named after my like blog I had when I was 16. It's called Between Good and Evil, like the human heart. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, you helped me name it. Did I? It was that episode because I was I didn't have a title yet, and you were like, "Do that." I like that. Oh, and, then and, and I, I said literally... have different backgrounds, like have an angel oh, on yeah, one yeah. side and a devil yeah. on one side. It's like, yeah. Before yeah. Frenemies, too. That was like. Oh, ooh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about yeah. it before them. Yeah. 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 That would have been cool. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll poach you for our podcast as Thank much you. as we can. Mm-hmm. It's nice having a woman around here. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's wrap it up. That's it, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> have a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, damn. It's already, it's already over. Merry Christmas.